When I first saw a HO scale working cyclist at Worley a couple of years ago, to me and everybody crowded around the stands, it looked like a little piece of magic. But it's not. It's a very clever mechanism by a Dutch company, MagnaRail. The system itself is really simple. We've got some red plastic chain that you can see is nice and flexible and made up of individual links. And you actually have to assemble this as part of the kit, which keeps you amused. And this runs in plastic uh, channel that's very bendy and you can see it moves quite smoothly through there. And all this is contained under the roadway. What we'll do is we'll spin the model round and I've built a clear top to the road system so that you can actually see how the drive mechanism works. Now the chain runs through two rubber rollers, they're actually O-rings on uh, plastic cogs and is driven by a 12 volt motor. Now it's a geared 12 volt motor so that we get a nice sensible speed for the cyclist. This isn't Bradley Wiggins hurtling along the last bits of the Tour de France for example. And all this lot clamps underneath the road surface um, and actually is hidden. You can't take it apart again once you've uh, built the uh, layout. So there is, you do have to be careful and get your setup really right first time. The cyclist arrives as a kit of parts that you've got to assemble. You have a steel bicycle and then a plastic cyclist with all his joints and then a little clear wheel that drives the legs as he's moved along. The clever bit is the cyclist is pulled along by a couple of rare earth magnets in the chain. Now, one of the challenges of this system is that uh, the road surface actually has to be very thin. MagnaRail specify um, no more than half a millimetre thick. Now, because I wanted to better show the drive mechanism, I've used some clear plastic from a DIY store, which is about a millimetre thick, and I just about get away with it. Around the front, what I've done is I've just sprayed it with ordinary car primer, and that's just given me enough texture so that the mechanism that operates his legs will just grip it. Uh, but it is very slightly shiny, and you eventually do see a uh, track being worn, so I'll need to respray it every so often. So there we have it. It's not magic, it's a really simple mechanism, but does something that uh, even non-railway enthusiasts can really appreciate.